quick method to redraw a logo to create a cut line is to use the Create Boundary tool. To do this, we must use a vector file. A vector file will have very smooth edges when you zoom in, whereas when you zoom in on a bitmap file, you will notice some pixelation. Another way to tell if an image is in vector format is to try and ungroup the file. If we go into Arrange and Ungroup, in this instance, the image will ungroup and you can pull apart the individual aspects of the logo. A bitmap image is a flattened image and you have no option to ungroup. In the Object Manager Docker, you can see that we have a bitmap currently selected, whereas the vector file is made up of individual curves, which we can now select individually. If your Object Manager Docker does not appear, click Tools and then click Object Manager. Now that we can tell a vector file from a bitmap file, we can continue to create our cut line. First of all, select the vector file with your pick tool. Then click Effects and then click Create Boundary. If we zoom in, you can see this has created a boundary around the design. Now click Effects and then Contour. This will bring up the Contour Docker on the right hand side. In here, select Inside. Under Offset, you can adjust this accordingly. In this case, this will need to be set to 1mm. If we then click Apply, this will create a second cut line on the inside of our boundary. Now click Arrange and then Break Contour Group Apart. This will break apart the outer cut line with the inner cut line. If you now click away from the design to deselect an item, then click back on the outer cut line and then press delete. This will leave you with one cut line, one millimeter inside the image. This is by far the quickest way to create a cut line, which you can now use in conjunction with the Ultra Graphics process. Now we can try creating a cut line around a bitmap file. If we select our bitmap with our pick tool and then click effects and then create boundary, you will see the cut line is created as a square around the whole bitmap rather than around the logo we require. To use the create boundary tool correctly, we need to first convert our bitmap into a vector file. Select the image with the pick tool, then click trace bitmap, outline trace, and select low quality trace from the option. Click reduce bitmap if prompted. The power trace window will now appear. In the top left hand corner, select wireframe overlay under the preview option. Coral Draw will now trace the image and show you the results as a red outline around the trace areas as you can see. Ideally, you want to see the red outline all the way around the outside of the logo. For example, if we drop the detail on the right hand side right down, you will see here that the outline is missing part in the bottom right hand corner. If I increase the detail back up towards the plus, Coral Draw will retrace the design and show the full outline as you can see. Once you are happy that the trace gives you a consistent outline, tick the remove background button as we do not want to trace the background. Now click the OK button to confirm the trace. Be aware that not all images will trace perfectly. If an image is too complicated for Coral Draw to retrace, you may need to use the Bezier tool to redraw the image yourself, as shown in our tracing image video. Your retraced vector image will now appear on top of the bitmap. We can simply move this to one side. Now, clicking on Effects, and create boundary, just as we did previously, we can create a boundary around our design. Moving the boundary to one side, we can then delete the vector file, 
since this is no longer needed. Now, just as before, we can use our contour tool to create an inner cut line. Again, exactly as before, we can now click on Arrange, break Contour Group apart, we can then click in the background to deselect our item, click on the outside cut line and delete. Your cut line is now ready to use with the Ultra Graphics process.